Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example is not as simple as the first two that we've tried so far. Notice on the right side we have the quantity k times 1 over a minus 1 over b. And we're supposed to solve for b. So again, to make things a little bit simpler, we're going to go ahead and, and circle the variable that we're looking for to get a better visualization. So how do we isolate b? Essentially, we want to have b equals everything else. Well, we might recognize that we could write this as w over 1 and the right side all over 1. So we have two fractions again, and we can move things across the diagonal. In other words, we can move the k across the diagonal this way, which is essence is the same thing as dividing both sides by k, which means we end up with w divided by k equals 1 over a minus 1 over b. So now, since we have to isolate b, it would be a good idea to take this fraction, move to the left, and take this fraction, move it to the right. So what we're going to do here is take the 1 over b, move it to the left side, and w over k, and move to the right side. And remember, when we cross the equal sign, the sign must change. That means that this becomes 1 over b is equal to 1 over a minus, because it takes a plus and turns into minus, w over k. And then all I have left to do is flip over the fraction, so take the inverse of the left side and take the inverse of the right side. But before we take an inverse of the right side, we want to write the right side over a single denominator as a fraction, which means we need to find the common denominator, which means we have to multiply the top and the bottom here by k and the top and the bottom here by a. In other words, this will be k over k, and ooh, this pen is almost gone. Let me try this one here k over k, and this is going to be uh, a over a. That way we have a common denominator of a times k, and so this can now be written as 1 over b is equal to k minus a times w, all divided by the common denominator of a times k. So at this stage, in order to solve for b, what we need to do with the left side is take the inverse of the left side and now, of course, we can also take the inverse of the right side. When we do that, we get the following. We get b over 1 is equal to, we have a k now on the numerator, and this comes down to the denominator k minus a times w. And of course, we don't have to write b over 1. We can simply then write that this is equal to b equals a k over k minus a w. And that's how we isolate for that variable b. That's how it's done.